Adobe Illustrator Pro. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I, as a repeat pattern designer, especially working in Adobe Illustrator, uh, creating vector repeat pattern designs, deal with a common issue that happens, especially when we are just starting out designing in uh, vector Adobe Illustrator software. Uh, why Illustrator freezes for pattern designers and what to do about it. Please note, this is only one of the reasons why Adobe Illustrator can freeze, not respond or work slowly. So there may be other reasons, but this one is a very common one. So have you been creating a vector repeat pattern, for example, like this one that I created? And uh, all of a sudden you created a swatch with it. Here is a swatches panel and here is a swatch, new pattern swatch. And here's a solid color over here next to it. Uh, and all of a sudden your Adobe Illustrator stopped responding or started acting very slowly, started working very slowly. There's this colorful wheel in a, on the Mac happening. So you don't know what to do, you panic, you're not sure what's going on. I will help you uh, in this video. So this is a very common problem for vector repeat pattern designers as they are creating the repeat pattern tile. And this is a tile, this is a tile, and this is a swatch right here in the swatches panel, just so you know if you are new to creating. And they, what happens is to create this kind of swatch, you need to crop your tile or there are other ways to do it with the uh, it, it, not covered in this video particular, but let's say you can crop it, uh, make an exact repeat pattern design. Uh, let's assume that you already know how to do it for this video, and then you drag it and drop it into the swatches panel. See, there's one more appeared right here. But what happens is when you drag and drop, this stays selected like so. So it stays selected. So accidentally, then you want to test this swatch and what you do, you click, I will not click because I don't want my computer to start freezing while I film this video. But if you have this selected, this is deselected, this is selected, and then you click on a swatch, all of a sudden, let's say I click on this color because then it won't freeze. See, it, it colored everything. So now it colored, I will undo. But if you click on a swatch, this every tiny little detail in this pattern will start filling independently of each other with this pattern. So it will start freezing your Adobe Illustrator, especially on slower machines, slower computers. So this is one of the main reasons why uh, Adobe Illustrator starts freezing, especially if this pattern is even more complex than this one and very complex. So this is basically why it's happening. Just wanted to show you guys what's going on so you know. Uh, and this same problem can also happen if you are not a pattern designer, but you have swatches in here and then you're working on an illustration, complex uh, design, and then you accidentally want to color something, you select your illustration and then you click on the swatches and accidentally click on the pattern, this same problem can appear. So Illustrator starts usually working very, very slowly, thinking for a long time, freezing or crashing. So that happens. This is common. And uh, in this video, I wanted to show you how to avoid this problem and uh, of Adobe Illustrator suddenly becoming too slow. So the first thing is avoid clicking on any swatches consciously while not you haven't checked if you have anything selected. So if you want to create a simple shape, let's say a rectangle like so, filled with solid color, and then click on a pattern. See, it fills no problem. There is no lag and no freezing. But a complex illustration will start filling all of these tiny details with this pattern will create a problem. So avoid doing that is number one tip for me. Just uh, learn not to do it, especially as a pattern designer. It happens a lot because you're already working with these complex patterns like that. If this already happened to you, the second tip is if this is going on right now, Adobe Illustrator is working slowly. I recommend going into uh, Adobe Illustrator icon over here and pressing down the right mouse uh, button and then option alt 
and then force quit. So I do not recommend doing the force quit too often, but if it's really not uh, stopping, it's freezing everything for too long, this is the option how to stop the problem with Adobe Illustrator and restart. The only thing that you need to have your file saved, of course, and it is important to do so for your work. So get into habit of uh, saving your file correctly and uh, saving the progress of your work. And next, another way, if, if your file is not super, super textured and complex, and let's say this kind of t detail level as I have right here, uh, what you can do, you can just wait. If you have a chance, you can wait until your Adobe Illustrator processes this request to fill everything with a pattern, and then it will stop uh, freezing all of a sudden and then hit command Z and do undo basically to go back to this version so um, and then save of course so make sure that everything's saved so two options force quit Adobe Illustrator and start over uh, from the saved file or uh, of course just wait patiently until it processes this request all right, you got it to work. I am so happy. And please remember to save your designs and progress every time because you don't want to lose those amazing designs, don't we? All right. Now that you know how to uh, prevent the bug of Adobe Illustrator freezing from happening, especially when you're working on repeat pattern designs, I am uh, so excited for you and I hope it will save you lots of time and frustration in the future. If you want to create more repeat pattern designs, now that you have more time, I have amazing trick for you and in my free workbook that you can download by clicking the link in the description box below. And in that workbook, you will know how to take one pattern that you just created and turn it into 15 more patterns. Does it sound awesome? Yes, it does. This is how I grew my vector repeat pattern portfolio to 10,000 patterns in a few years. And it has been definitely super, super helpful for me and for my students. I hope it will be helpful for you too. If you like this video, please give me a like by hitting that like button, subscribe to stay tuned to the pattern vibe, and of course, share with your friends because uh, the more, the merrier. Enjoy your day and I will see you in my next video. Grow, love and create. Bye!